guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Jacqueline the Holistic Siren and on this channel we bring you physical, emotional, and spiritual healing through nutrition, oracle card readings, and Reiki. So I'm super excited to hop into this reading for Aquarius. Okay, so these, these are the health predictions and energy reading for Aquarius for March in 2021. Okay, so we're going to hop right into it and ask our Divine Spirit Guides, what areas of health does Aquarius need to focus on in March of 2021? What areas of health does Aquarius... Oop, whoa. Okay. Okay, guys. So, we have root chakra. We've got two throat chakra cards and then we've got a third eye card okay so we've got we'll start with root chakra so your root chakra is the first okay it's at the base of your spine governs muscle bone uh your spinal column um and also your adrenal glands so i feel like march is all about grounding yourself um building a better sense of security. You are an air sign Aquarius. So like be ground, being grounded or practicing grounding is not your forte. Um, I feel like sound is going to be very helpful with this grounding that you want, that you're wanting to do. Um, like the self regio frequencies, um, like 432 Hertz, um, or any other root chakra frequency, I feel like would be very, very helpful. Um, feeling like a lot of tightness and heaviness, like in the lower body and the legs, um, like poor circulation in the lower body, like a coldness almost. Um, it's almost like a stagnancy, like a, I don't know, like you're, you feel, you feel stuck and you want something, you need something to like liberate you. Like you want to like feel like you can fly, but to feel like you can fly and like, like, so this card is self-expression. So express yourself, um, express your individuality, your inner voice, your assertiveness. You need to first ground yourself. Okay. Um, because if you're not grounding yourself, you get too much up here it's like a detachment from the physical body um because like there are multiple root chakra cards in this deck so when i say base chakra this is like you guys really need to practice some grounding techniques bring in some like rock salt lamps start using essential oils bring plants into your house go outside of nature go for a hike go for a walk um eat grounding foods like foods that are red in color any root vegetable um yeah it's just feel deep into your body use healing frequencies um and this will get you to to feel comfortable enough to activate that throat chakra because blue is the color of the throat chakra to uh make yourself feel heard to express yourself to assert your individuality um also to to hear your inner voice like it's like there's a disconnect between like the physical body and and the mind almost the last card we have is seeing okay this card says perspective truth knowledge and clarity so i feel like you guys like you've been looking for answers but like in all the wrong places I feel like the clarity um, and the knowledge you're seeking is going to come to you this month, but it's going to take some work on your end. Like you're going to need to ground, like I said, you're going to need to activate that root chakra. If you need to do some root chakra um, meditations, uh, listening again to the sound frequencies for root chakra, um, activate to be able to activate that throat chakra in the way that you're used to activating it. It's almost like you guys have felt a stagnancy like in in speaking, which is not nor which isn't the norm for you. But the perspective you're seeking it is 
like in in the body like your the foundations like something foundational um like root chakra is all about your survival your instincts um the foundations like food shelter water it is all about the physical body so getting back into the physical body is going to give you the perspective the knowledge the clarity on the issue or situation that you're seeking yeah okay so next we are going to see uh divine spirit guides what does aquarius need to release wow that was fast <laughs> Whoa, way too many. One or two. We all know how this goes. What does Aquarius need to release in March of 2021? Okay. The same cards came out for you guys. Um, okay. So the first was uh, solitude. Once you embrace the inner divine and your own sacred solitude, the right people arrive at the right time, exactly on schedule without forcing or chasing. Now, Aquarius, you're a very social sign, so I feel like, like I said, Grounding is so important. Getting into meditation, going into nature, going on walks. But this is something solitary. This is something that you're going to be doing in March uh, by yourself. Uh, it's more like a. I said this in my Instagram video to, or divine download video today on Instagram. Like, uh, it's like a, a respite from how you normally are. Like in the Aries reading, it was all about rest, taking a step back, being patient. And Aries are not like that at all they're like very much steam ahead leap before you look so on and so forth you guys are, are very social signs so being in solitude is not the norm for you but i feel like in this month being in solitude is, is going to be very beneficial for you so the next card is travel let every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony may divine order arrange and handle every detail It'll be guided easily and follow the leads as they are shown. So guys, this is more like your, like your journey with, within yourself. Okay. Like traveling from the body to like your astral body traveling or the, like the journey you're taking this month. Okay. Um, knowing that everything is going to pan out the way that it needs, um, you don't always need to see the path to know where you're going. That, that's what I'm hearing. So the next card is feelings. Emotions want to be felt. You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow me, dear divine, to offer all emotions to you, feeling them fully so they no longer hold me captive. Yeah, guys, there's something that you're, there's something that you're not facing in your root chakra. Like it's, is it a fear? Is it an insecurity? Um, is it self doubt? Um, it, but it's something foundational. Um, again, this fear could have been developed between the ages of like birth to seven years old, because that's when your root chakra is most dominant. Um, yeah, like something needs to be released from the base, from beneath, uh, like beneath the surface. It's like right there. You guys don't fully know what it is yet. But I feel like when you're in solitude, when you're alone, when you're not distracted by other things, uh, it's going to come to you. And then last is self-acceptance. Nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself. When you offer your whole being fully to love, self-acceptance arises spontaneously. May I rest in our oneness, dear divine. So yeah, guys, I mean, I feel like March is going to be bringing you self-acceptance. Um, releasing that you're always like a work in progress uh, which you are but accepting yourself for where you are now um is something that's going to be coming to you in march and it's going to be like so free when i see a bird i think like flying high freedom um self-acceptance leads to stepping into your individuality to your assertiveness like the self-expression card says so um yeah, I feel like releasing the need to constantly feel like you're a work in progress. You're, I'm hearing like you're a passion project for yourself. 
Okay, and finally, um, Divine Spirit Guides, what are the forms of self-care that would be most beneficial for Aquarius? What forms of self-care would be most beneficial for Aquarius? You guys, what did I say? Walk in nature or connect with earth, sorry. Connect with earth, grounding. It's activating that root chakra, you guys. Eat red foods, eat root vegetables, connect with the earth, ground your body. Hey guys, sorry about that. Let me hop right back into it. So like I said, grounding, connecting with nature, getting outside, taking a walk. Um, bringing in rock salt lamps into your house, bringing in plants, gardening, anything that connects you with Mother Earth, and then writing a gratitude list. What things are you truly and utterly grateful for? This will kind of clear out the clutter, give you more perspective, truth, clarity. Um, I feel like that's why you guys are kind of like, feel like you've kind of lost touch a little bit, and I feel like writing a gratitude list about all the things that you do have are going to feel like, fill your cup back up. All right, so Aquarius, that is your reading for March of 2021. If it resonated, please comment and let me know. I love to read the comments, answer all your questions. Um, if you feel called, you can also make a donation through my PayPal, Venmo, or buy me a coffee. I truly appreciate the energy exchange. And make sure you hit that subscription button and notification bell so you know every time I post a video, um, which at this point is at least once a week. I love putting out new content for you guys. And I hope you have an amazing March and I love you so, so much.